Welcome to our Divine Light Healing Circle. Today we have interesting themes again. And of course, you can see a lot of green new beginnings, bringing things to a new growth, to a new level. We can also see, no, wrong side, um, our little dolphin friend. So we will have some guidance from dolphins with joy. And maybe we can also balance out some drama in the dolphin family with uh, counteracting all the frustrations and sadness uh, the dolphin slaughter causes every year. Then uh, we are going into regeneration of our family tree, sending love and light all up the family tree. And one other step is about asking for effortlessness in our um, life. Sometimes we want too much, we want too much to do it ourselves without enlisting help and have support and allowing support then um, there will be their ancestral healing also with our family lineage. Last time we went into connecting with our spirit family or soul family. And this time it's going to be even a little bit more specific. Soul families are, you know, on a higher up level. But this time we will work from the DNA upwards into the family tree. So definitely family orientedness. And then last but not least, we are going to a place of heart healing. And that's golden light healing. That's opening our heart wide and sending love to wherever it needs to be through us, the channel of the golden light frequency, of the white light frequency. And that's why there is so much gold uh, in the back to the waterfall symbolize the flow of good emotions here with this pure white light flowing into the nice creative turquoise again um this is a part of a painting by john luc bozzoli i was in i have to name it because he's so generous and let me use part of his pictures and um i find the art always very elevating and exciting because it resembles a lot of places where we're going in our inner meditations. And yes, it can be so strong in colors. It's it's not a subdued energy when we are going in and up. So without further ado, I would like you to breathe out the day. And breathe out all the worries all the frustrations, all the misgivings of the last days, weeks, and months into a purple cloud in front of you. With every single breath, you're filling up a purple cloud with all the frustrations, limitations, all the things which you do not need any longer. Fear, worry, anything which makes you feel heavy. And when after a few breaths, the purple cloud is heavy, send it up to the ethers for light beings to transmute and transform all what is in there. If your cloud is too heavy to even rise up because you put too much in there, envision a silver lightning bolt. Silver is high detoxifying light and will lighten the load of this purple cloud so that it can easily lighten up high up into the skies, into the ethers. And as light beings and guiding ones take off and transmute and transform 
all that negativity which we packed in there, the cloud starts to rain. Yes, purple rain falls back onto us in our energy field, cleansing and clearing, transmuting and transforming all that in our energy field, which is still distorted, rifts, or anything which needs to be transmuted and transformed, old imprints. Just let the rain flow upon you into your energy field, into your aura, this purple rain. Let it just cleanse and clear your aura. And then in the same way, but this time from even further higher up, comes white silver sparkling light with glistening diamond shimmering raindrops. First it starts dripping and then it starts pouring onto you, through you and around you until you're sitting, standing or laying in a stream of white silver sparkling light. Like standing off and under a waterfall. God's grace is showered upon you through this waterfall of light so that you might have it easy and you can be lighthearted and uplifted. Receiving is key. We have brought in so many frequencies from the universal oneness, but this waterfall of white silver sparkling light with diamond light has an imprint of ease and grace. We receive ease and grace from the highest high with this flowing waters of life. As it flows through us, head to toe and into our aura, it also flows nurturing into Mother Earth, through our feet and just all around us into Mother Earth, cleansing, clearing, purifying the ground we are standing on, but also deep down into the core it flows. The waterfall of ease and grace flows naturally to the core center crystals from which it will be redirected and appropriated for good causes within Mother Earth. Bubbling wells of light will come to the surface to nurture humans, animals, and plant life as needed. So many beings can take nurturing through their feet. Anywhere they go, as long as they allow contact with Mother Earth. And Mother Earth's energies also get cleansed and cleared from pollution. And into the midst of this white silver sparkling light flows pink, that particular shade of pink, which represents to you universal oneness and love, that unconditional love, which creates kindness in our environment. 
pink light flows from the universal oneness into the top of our head all the way down to the bottom of our feet and all the way down into the core of Mother Earth and also into our aura, but this time like a fountain from our heart into our auric field, front and back. And what was a trickle becomes a storm of pink light. And it can go off like a supernova in all directions. Pink light goes out from our hearts to our homes, apartments, into our neighborhoods. into our city, into our state. Into our country. And around the globe. Around our Earth. You're bringing in so much pink light of unconditional love that it fills the earth like a bomb. Nothing can really escape the love bombing we are doing right now. Bringing out love for anyone who needs it to be able to partake. Bringing it to the table of reality as an offering for anyone and everyone who is feeling disconnected from love, lovingness, and kindness. We are opening our hearts wide to even widen the flow of love. And we are sending it out to our grieving companions, the dolphins, who so recently again in the yearly slaughter lost their lives. We are mourning with the dolphin families who lost family members. As we are mourning with people who lost loved ones recently all around the globe. Loss can be replaced with the understanding that life is truly eternal. Unconditional love is the underlying flow of all existence. And with the underlying love from source, from the beginning, that permeating energy of oneness can hold us up even in the darkest moments. With that understanding and with that wish to bring anyone and everyone who allows it to the next level of love, we are sending out this light force of unconditional love brought and anchored down here through us, being here, sitting here in the circle and expanding it into our 3D world, a three-dimensional world. And now we are ready to greet our helpers in our circle 
asking all light beings and guiding ones to be of service who want to be of service for the healing circle and healing the people on our list. All the designated helpers and doctors who help still doing their job in the interdimensional workings. And we might feel again our hands held by light beings or other high frequency beings. As our circle gets stronger, so please be so kind to ground yourself well that the energy can flow freely through you, unhindered, unencumbered. Allow yourself to receive and send it out through you. As the energy is pulsing and pulsating through us, you might already feel the connection to all there is. And maybe specifically the interweavings of your DNA sequences within yourself creating your unique song in the universe at this moment in time. And through this weaving of your DNA strings and strands, send this tremendous love force into your ancestry field. Send this pink and silver sparkling white light and even the purple and any other color frequencies of healing which want to be there to the ancestors lineage father's lineage mother's lineage just see how in your family tree, dead limbs come to life. Dead limbs sprout new leaves or even start blooming. The ones never talked about can be acknowledged by this energy strand, this love stream. See how everyone in your family can take from this nurturing light vibration as you're sending it with the intent and intention to heal your family ancestry. Connect it through your DNA vibration rate at this moment in time, in this incarnation. And your individual song of your DNA, as every sequence in your DNA has a tone, you will see that one particular melody goes through your ancestry lineages. And as you're following your attention upwards, through so the mother's lineage and father's lineage. And you might see many dark spots. But with the love light, these spots can be cleansed from the fabric of your family tree.
everyone has the chance to absorb love, feel love, receive love through the gateway of which you are bringing the love energy in. Your soul chose to be part of this family dynamics. And maybe you chose it to heal it. So you're sending forth the love field, the stream of love. And to all the ones who came before you and who were deprived or had a lack of being blessed or loved. You might want to bless your family tree from the persona of your higher self, knowing that all your ancestors who might have been wronged you or were wrong in some areas are still part of the divine oneness so send blessings and bless your ancestors father's lineage and mother's lineage acknowledge all the children who might have been born still or who died, who have been brothers or sisters to somebody in your family tree and their loss caused pain. You might say, dear brother or sister, in my generation or many generations removed. Let us live to the full glory here, but honor you there as you came before me. Bless me that I can live my life to the fullest here on earth this lifetime. But know that you will not be forgotten. And now we send blessings to all the ones who were forced in doing atrocities or who were atrocities done to them. He's sending specific love to perpetrators in our family lineage or to members in our family lineage who were perpetrated upon. And sending love, understanding, and kindness for the healing of the family tree. At least seven generations, if not more. You are standing in the divine light. You're sending up the family tree, the divine light. All the sufferings you have endured at this particular moment do not matter, but you matter. Your love matters. Your light matters. Your love and light creates ripples all around you and up your family tree. 
And as you're standing at the root right now, you're sending it up to the trunk of mother and father and further up to all the limbs as high up as it wants to go. And as you're sending this love and light to your ancestry lineage, and you're acknowledging the ones who were ignored or died too early, creating a lack or a hole or distortment in the family tree and you acknowledge them, ask your ancestors to bless you back. Bless me and wish me kindness on my path here on earth. Look upon me kindly so that my path is free of family distortions. And you might feel energy flow towards you, rushing towards you. Be sure you have your feet chakra open that the rush of the blessings can flow into you and through you. As you have many, many ancestors. This energy will make you unstuck moving forward as you also help souls who have been had an incarnation in your family tree, help them to get the unstuck in their soul's evolution, that they also can move forward and do not have the distorted energy, whatever it might have been happening in history and time and space as an imprint of shock or trauma in their history of life, of soul. In all the dark spots in your family tree are now occupied if there are any left by little shimmering butterflies who volunteered to make your family tree cleansed and cleared and lighter. And as they transmute and transform, sucking up the negativity from the family tree, when they're done, they fly away like a swarm of butterflies, leaving in the wake a lot of people in the ancestry lineage, lighthearted and uplifted. If you still have by any chance any resentment towards your family in any way possible, let a butterfly suck that negativity out of your heart. Allow the butterfly to sit on your heart like a flower, slurping from your heart that which needs to be transformed. And 
and with every butterfly opening and closing of its wings, disturbing energies might be pumped away from you. And when the butterfly is done with your heart, it brings away this disturbances on its beautiful wings all the way up to where it can be nullified and only lightheartedness and upliftedness will prevail. And with that said, we are letting now ourselves float up, saying goodbye to our ancestors, thanking all of them who were willing to be healed and making our tree stronger and bloom again and creating new fruit and blessing us to create new fruit new projects and new goodness in this reality. And as we are waving goodbye, we are raising up like a rocket along the strand of silver, white, sparkling light and pink. We shoot up all the way up high into the sky, ethers, and even higher up. And with a blink of an eye, we saw Earth from far away. And as we say Earth from far away, we are gearing to a healing planet. We have been there before. This is the healing planet of golden light with a golden ocean where we already swam twice to transmute and transform energies from people on our list. This time we are going to the other side on the golden planet into a golden forest full of trees, unusual ones. These trees are tools who have given permission to transmute and transform energy root causes for people on our list to be transformed also by their ancestry trees. Symbolically, these trees are representatives of the soul trees of the individuals on our list. Our team of light beings has already brought up and brings up as we speak the several hundred people from our list to this planet. Their energy will be merging with the golden trees They will lean into the trees and so can you if you feel you have still certain resentments or a need of cleansing further elements from your ancestry tree. All the people of our list, no matter what diseasement they have, lean against the trunk and emerge with the golden family tree. 
and with that connect with their soul energy and their soul knowledge why they chose to have their afflictions and also why they chose to be in their family lineage. And as they're merging and we are merging with our trees, the golden light shoots up in our family tree again. This time it's gold, soul awareness, so that every soul who participated in our family tree has a chance to go to a higher awareness rate, no matter where they're at, to go to their next level. And with that unburdening, the people from our list from this easement created by family history and drama, which can so often show itself in physical diseasements. An energy flow and exchange goes up and down these trees, but the gold is always present. The gold is always present to remind everyone within their stories of the truth of eternal love. And while I'm watching, I see a lot of gold of the trees transforms into a rose gold. Gold mixed with pink light so that it becomes more rosy like rose gold. And in this moment, the energy expands for everyone, including animals, cats, dogs, horses, also all the animals on our list get nurtured from the ground up as they're helping their owners to grow and took on these easements or as they were souls put into animal form for understanding limitational experiences, whatever it is, the light heals all. And if you are done already with your healing tree, you can wander in the forest and meet highly dedicated, loving beings who live here on this healing planet. We haven't met them before because we had to get acquainted with the higher vibration rate of that overflowing heart felt energy this planet helps us and all the people on our list and anyone who wants to visit to reconnect with soul light and soul purpose and oneness So these designated people, beings, help us to set our feet on the right path again towards oneness. If you have questions, you can ask those beings now 
for direction of your best next step to shift your life up. Listen carefully what is said or what words flow through your mind. Listen now. And you're filled up like a cup with information and love until your cup is overflowing with appreciation and gratitude. Most of our people on the list have now closed their processing and are done for now. They have transmuted and transformed as much as they and their ancestry lineage could afford to change in one sitting. So all the people on our list are brought back to their designated physical forms and the higher wisdom coming with this exercise is reintegrated and integrated into their physical bodies now from the energy body to the physical body from the ether body to the physical form from the mental body to the physical and from the emotional to the physical form. And the ignition of the heart light is successful as everyone on our list will have more heart space to open their heart a little wider and letting a little bit more light in. With that said, we are closing our excursion with the mantra. From now on, I allow to let more light into my life. From now on, I allow more love into my life. From now on, allow more acceptance into my life. Acceptance of what is. From now on, I appreciate the divine order, which I not always understand. I give my will over to the highest divine order so that I'm always walking on the right path. At this moment, 
you might feel other energy floods going through your system. I'm told that we are now showered with blessings without end. So waves upon waves or energy might flood you. And these blessings are overflowing from the highest high all the way down to you. And you let it flow into your world. You will see changes in your surrounding today and tomorrow and the next weeks and even months. This exercise will have a ripple effect onto the multidimensionality of your existence. With that said, we are bringing our bodies back into physical focus, bringing our mind back into our body, bringing our emotions back into our heart. And appreciating the physical form as our momentary temple. With every single breath, slowly and gently float back down into your physical form. Feel your feet. Feel the surface you are sitting or laying on. Feel your body. Make sure you are grounded as more waves of light are coming down. Know that you are blessed. Till next week. <laughs>